What are the pivotal moments of your life? Today, I'm going to explore whether or not we create these pivotal moments or we have to wait until they just happen. Keep watching. This is Life Mastery Gym. I'm Damon Cart, and I teach people just like you processes and techniques so that you can take charge of your destiny and create the life that you want to live. So if that sounds good, please click subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can get these videos on a regular basis. We think of pivotal moments as those moments that shape our lives and shape who we are. What if you could create these pivotal moments? What if I told you we could create a pivotal moment together right now by the end of this video? I've been doing this for myself and I've been doing this with clients for years. So if you wanna know how to create pivotal moments in your life, that's exactly what I'm going to show you by the end of this video. And make sure you stick around to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you how to get some free training that's going to help you take this to the next level. Now, before we dive deep into this, I'm curious about you. Do you even think it's possible to create these pivotal moments in your life? Let me know yes or no in the comments section below. Creating pivotal moments starts with deciding on a direction for your life. But for a lot of people, this elephant is too big to digest. And unfortunately, a lot of people stop right here, but hold on a minute. Now, if you're a big picture person, this question probably doesn't scare you at all because you're used to seeing things in big, broad, general terms. However, you probably have not thought about this question. You probably haven't really asked that question to yourself. What is the direction that I want to take my life? There is never a better time than right now to ask yourself this question, what direction do I want for my life? And you don't need to come up with an immediate answer because this question will create a gap and there's a sort of a knee jerk reaction that we feel like we have to fill in these gaps, but you don't have to. It's more important that you sit with this question and let the answer come up for you. For those of you who find this question overwhelming, you may need to chunk this down to particular or more specific context in your life. So you can ask yourself, what direction would I like to take my career? What direction would I like to take my social life or my relationships? What direction would I like to take my health? Take it down to a smaller context and it'll make this question less overwhelming so that you can focus more and again, sit with that question. You don't need to come up with an immediate answer. Your mind's going to try to fill that gap in that the, the question creates automatically. You don't wanna do that. Just sit with the question and let the answer come up. The second part of this is once you have that answer, once you know the direction you wanna take either your entire life or a particular context in your life, now it's time to ask an even tougher question. And that is, what are you doing or not doing that's preventing you from taking your life in that direction? Or what are you doing or not doing that's slowing you down from going in that direction, either taking your entire life in that direction or that particular context in your life in that direction? And again, it's not important to have immediate answers to these questions. You wanna sit with these questions and allow the answers to come up. So what, what is the point of this? If you don't need immediate answers, why, why would I tell you that to, to ask yourself these questions? Well, asking yourself these questions will start to open your awareness. You are, your awareness will start to open up to new understandings, new insights, new ideas. This is really how pivotal moments are created. Pivotal moments are basically when you have a new awareness, a new understanding, a new insight, and now you've got to make a decision. The decision was always there, but you weren't aware of it. Now that you're aware of it, you can't not know what you now know. So now you have a decision to make, a pivotal moment. So what is that decision? Well, now that you know what you know, your decision is, do I take that new awareness, that new information, insight, understanding, whatever you want to call it, and do I then go with that and, and progress in my life? Or do I try to put the toothpaste back in the tube and go back to the way things were? It's unfortunate, but most people have a love affair with what is comfortable and what is familiar. 
So what they'll try to do is they'll try to go back to the way things were before they knew this or had this new awareness. They'll try to suppress that and they'll try to pretend like or almost pretend like it's something they don't know because they're trying to get back to what life was like, the comfortable, familiar life that they had before they had this new understanding. It's, but you can't unknow things like one plus one equals two. Once you know that, you can't ever unknow it. You even see this in movies and great stories, the hero's journey. The hero has an, there's some sort of inciting incident or the hero has new knowledge and the hero's choice is to turn back or to proceed forward into unknown territory. Now, if it's a true hero type story, of course the hero is always going to move ahead. But we actually do have stories in movies of tragedies of the person who tries to go backwards, the person who tries to move away from the new knowledge, the new understanding. And this is built into our psychology that we are going to come to new awarenesses. And then when we come to these new awarenesses, we have a decision to make. These are these pivotal moments and we either decide to go forward or we decide to go backward. If we decide to go backward, it's only going to hurt you. Before I get into the final step in this process, if you're interested in going deeper with this idea of really falling in love with your life, even when things suck, I made a video about this. You will find it in the card at the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Just click on that card, you'll see this uh, video about falling in love with life. And if you want to take that deeper, I recommend watching that video. Okay, we're at the point now where you're starting to see that there is a fork in the road. You have this new awareness. Do you go with that? Or do you try to go back to the old way, the way things were? So that's an either or choice. That's choice A or choice B. Is there a third option? Maybe. However, if there were a third option, then it doesn't make a very good pivotal moment, now does it, or a pivotal decision. Because if you think of a seesaw or a teeter-totter, it's one board pivoting on a pivot point. So it's a duality, it's either one or the other, it's one side or the other, it's either choice A or choice B. And actually, I'm going to say yes, there is another option. But most people don't think of it as an option. They think of it as not taking that option or, or, or not making an option or not making a choice. But I'm sure you've heard before that not making a decision or not making a choice is a choice. And it is indeed a choice. Hesitating to choose or choosing not to make a choice is usually the worst choice. So if you want to create a pivotal moment, one that will shape the rest of your life and also shape who you are, then you want to make a decision based on intention and understanding. And by and to do that, you will need to remove the option of not making a choice, the choice of not making a choice. Assume that you must make a choice. And when you must make a choice between either going with the new insight or trying to go backward into the way things were, you will create a pivotal moment. Imagine that you just created a pivotal moment. And now I have a, another choice for you. When I made this choice, it definitely shaped the rest of my life. And that choice is to learn more about how eliciting your values takes your decision making to a whole new level. Because a lot of times we think that the decision that's in front of us is just that and, and only that. But no, it goes so, so much deeper because it goes to the value that you're trying to fulfill, the experience that you're trying to create in your life. So if you want to learn more about this, I created a four part video series that starts with value solicitation and it delivers so much more. If you want to get your hands on this free training, it's a four part video series and you get access to it immediately and you'll get the first video right away and then it's one video a day after that. You can do that right now by clicking the link in the description below and also there's a link in the comments below that I pinned. Uh, you can click on that one, same thing, it, it works as well. And then I'll, I will also link it to the card here in this video. Once again, I'm curious about you. I'd love to hear about your 
pivotal moment and your pivotal decision that you made, please share it with me in the comments below. If you like this video, remember to, to click the like button. That tells me that you want more videos like this one. And also remember to subscribe and click the bell. Get that four part video series while you're at it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Thank you.